to a new vlog. It is now week three. There's a very exciting debate happening this evening at the Cambridge Union. But before I can go into any detail about that, I've got two lectures to attend to. Just had breakfast, so I'm going to head over to the faculty where I'm just going to do some preparation for the moot that I've got on Saturday, maybe some landlord super prep as well, and then be attending those two lectures as per usual on a Thursday. Contract lecture continue looking at frustration of a contract and for international law we start looking at jurisdiction. There's a couple of things I need to buy in town, a couple of things that I need for Saturday and I also need to buy uh, some new books to read for February because I've read the two books for January. Remember I'm trying to read at least two books a month so I need to do that but I then need to head back to college to get myself sorted ready for tonight's debate. I was able to get the file dividers that I need for Saturday and I was able to buy two books for February so I'm pleased with that. As you can see I am in formal attire and uh, the debate on this evening is centred around the monarchy. I believe it's this house place the House of Windsor is feeling. We've got some very interesting speakers uh, this evening including a Conservative MP. I'm going to the dinner beforehand so there's an opportunity for some of us to have dinner beforehand so I'm going to that. That's why I am dressed now and heading down very shortly so I'll be heading down for that and then obviously staying for the debate which should be good. I did have a good time at the Union, the dinner beforehand was really good, really delicious food and then in terms of the debate itself, really good speeches by the speakers on both sides of the debate. Overall uh, in terms of the motion the eyes won, i.e. they support the motion that uh, this house believes uh, that the House of Windsor is failing. But yeah, just an overall very interesting uh, debate and I was able to speak to uh, some of the, the speakers there, including the Conservative MP, uh, Marc Francois. And it was just great to chat to him and to ch chat to other people. Uh, it was just an overall really good uh, debate and just I very much enjoyed myself. And then afterwards, some of us just went to go get some food nearby and that was quite fun as well. It is rather late, as you can probably tell by the time, so I'll probably catch you in the morning. Another busy day today, starting off with two lectures, one for landlord at 11, and then one at one for admin, so that should be quite good. I've also got to make sure that I'm getting prepared for the move tomorrow, I'm preparing for supervisions that I've got, and then this afternoon, I am needed at the Cambridge Union, more about that uh, later. The landlord lecture finished off looking at mortgages and then for admin we started looking at procedural fairness and the rule against bias which was quite interesting. Head over to the Cambridge Union. What I'm doing now every Friday afternoon from 3 till about 6 is I'm involved with the invitations committee which involves for example researching into speakers that we could invite, see who's around that we could invite and eventually writing those invites up. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Then I believe there's an event afterwards which I might steer for uh, as well. After the invitations committee, we had Karen Mills who had worked under President Obama. And yeah, she was very interested and overall it was a really good event. And then afterwards, me and quite a few of us went to the Eagle, which is a local pub. And we had just a little drink and social there, which was quite fun. I'm back now in my room, busy day tomorrow with a moot as well as a dinner that I'm going to. Today is the day of the moot, later on I'll be heading over to Newnham College which is where the moot is taking place. But before that I've got some final preparations that I need to do, for example I'm going to head over to the library and print off a couple of things that need printing off and then just making sure I've got everything that I need, that I've got my arguments prepared etc. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this moot but there's still some preparations to begin on with. All the preparations have been made, it's time to head over to Newnham College for this moot. This moot's based on human rights law. A bit nervous to be honest because I haven't done a moot in quite a while. I think the last time was some point in first year I believe. 
so yeah, it, obviously it's going to be quite daunting, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless because it's got the opportunity to develop some experience, some confidence, etc. Uh, so yeah, definitely looking forward to it, but yeah, it's time to head over. So I think the moot went quite well. Basically, we had, each of us had 15 minutes to present our submissions, our arguments, and I think they went well. It's always difficult to say, but uh, whether or not I get through or not, I'm just glad I did it, because I haven't done a lot of the moots actually uh, so far while I've been here. So I'm glad I uh, was able to do this one. I enjoyed this one because it was focusing on human rights. And it's just good experience and you develop those skills that would be useful, especially for me who's thinking of becoming a barrister. I'm probably going to get something uh, for lunch in town and then afterwards probably head back to college. Need to get on with some super prep as well as some editing for the Cambridge Union. Pretty much been spending most of the afternoon doing some editing for YouTube. I'm now heading out uh, for a dinner. This is the Middle Temple Society annual dinner that I'm going to. It's at Clare's College, um, so that should be quite good. I'm actually meeting a friend beforehand, and then we're going to head over to Clare for that. <laughs> I had a great time at Clare's College at the Middle Temple dinner. So there was a bit of a drinks reception beforehand. And then afterwards there was a nice formal free course meal and it was just fantastic food and great company. And there was even Lord Lloyd Jones, who is a Justice of the Supreme Court, who was present. And I was able to get a photo with him, which was brilliant. So overall, it was just a really good night. Uh, very tired because it's been quite a busy day today and it was busy yesterday so I'm probably going to head off to bed because I've got plenty of work to be getting on with tomorrow. I'm going to be heading over to the Cambridge Union for the Sunday papers again. I enjoyed that last week so I'm probably going to go every Sunday hopefully and then afterwards I must get on with some preparation for sleep visions. There's quite a bit to do and I need to get on with that so that'll probably be my priority for the day. First of all I enjoyed Sunday papers and then afterwards just went somewhere to have something for brunch and now I must get on with that supervision preparation especially for the family law supervision. Probably going to do some no take and no first for contract law. I've just had a break to have something for dinner and what I've been doing is getting on with some no taking for the contract law supervision coming up. What I'm probably going to be doing is continue on with that but there is something that I need to do first. Welcome back to the laundry segment. This time I haven't just got one bag of clothes, but I've actually got two, as you can see there. I've got quite a bit of clothes that do need to go into the laundry, that's why I've got two bags. So what I'm going to do is put on the laundry and, like I've just mentioned, getting on with some no taking for contract law, but looking at those questions that I need to be answering for the family law supervision that I've got coming up this week. I've been able to do quite a lot of notes for contract law, looking at misrepresentation, not disclosure and I've been looking through the questions for the family law supervision coming up. I've got something on in the morning, and more about that later, and I have got two lectures on the afternoon, so I'll probably catch you in the morning. Now I'm heading over for an assessment. Basically, what I'm hoping for for the exams is I'm able to use a word processor, which means I don't need to write my exams. But what I'm required to do is get an assessment, which is where I'm heading over now. So I'll have that. I think that's happening for about a few hours. The assessment went well. It was just a, a series of uh, tests to just see whether or not I might need a laptop if I'll get any special arrangements for the exams. Head over to the faculty. Probably going to get on with some supervision preparation. I would have had the family law supervision today, but because of the assessment, I have rearranged that for tomorrow. So I'm going to prepare for that. Maybe do a bit of contract supervision preparation as well and then go to the two lectures that I've got. So for admin law we continued on looking at procedural fairness and biasness 
and then family law we finished off looking at medical treatment started looking at private law disputes in relation to children I need to do a couple of things in town before I head back to college and then I will head to college and get on with preparing for supervisions. I ended up uh, going to the Cambridge Union, doing some work there. I also decided to attend the event that was happening there. That was an aid of Pink Week, which helps to support cancer related charities. So I went to that and that was quite interesting. Then afterwards, came back to college. I've been getting on with some supervision preparation. Probably be heading off to bed soon because I've got that family law supervision tomorrow. It's an early start today, as would normally be the case for Tuesday, given that I've got the full committee of the Cambridge Union to attend to this morning. So I'll be going to that uh, shortly. And then afterwards, I'll be heading to the faculty where I need to be just continuing on with preparing for supervisions, especially for the family law supervision that I've got this afternoon. an event on later on today at the faculty. What I'm probably going to do though is head to town and do some work there. Just a difference of location really because I do need to get on with some more supervision preparation and some video editing that I need to do as well. So I think that's probably going to be the plan until that event. The event at the faculty was a human rights careers panel and that was really informative and very interesting. So they had different people from different organisations talking about their experiences and the different opportunities there are for careers based around human rights. So I'm definitely glad that I went to that. I am rather tired so I'm probably going to head off to bed soon and I, of course it'll be Wednesday tomorrow so it's going to be quite a busy day. Usual four lectures today are starting off with lecture for international law at nine o'clock. While I'm at the faculty I'll be getting on with preparing for supervisions especially for the land law supervision that I've got tomorrow so quite a busy day but I've got something very exciting happening this evening. International law continued on looking at jurisdiction for contract continued on looking at frustration for land law, we start looking at easements and then for family law, continuing on with private law disputes. Before the event on this evening, uh, there is still supervision preparation to be getting on with. So I will be heading back uh, to college to be getting on with that. I think the primary focus will have to be on land law given that supervision will be happening tomorrow. I've just got myself ready for what is actually my third dinner slash formal of this vlog. So there was the uh, union dinner before the debate on Thursday and then there was the law dinner on Saturday and now this is the third dinner slash formal. This is the Harry Potter formal for those who have been with my channel for a while you'll know that around this time last year I went to the Harry Potter formal and it was really good last time so I'm going again this time I'm actually going with a friend from another college who I work with at the Union. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this event. The Harry Potter formal was brilliant. I enjoyed it last year and I enjoyed it again this year. Good food, had an owl flying at the end. Then we were able to get a photo with the owl, which was brilliant. And yeah, it was just an overall really uh, good night. And I was with my friend and we had a good time. So yeah, overall just enjoyed myself. It was really, really good. I'm probably gonna be heading off to bed soon. That'll mark the end of another vlog, coming up to week four soon. Um, so yes, the weeks are certainly uh, going by now. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, don't forget to do the usual things, like in the video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, share the video, comment in the comment section below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking the bottom right hand corner. And I hope to see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.